Hello everyone and welcome back to Better Biomed. Today we're going to go over thermometers. We'll discuss the main types, their technology, advantages and shortfalls. So let's get started. There's two main categories of thermometers. There's analog and digital. Most analog thermometers use mercury or more commonly alcohol against a stationary scale. The mercury or alcohol expands at a very specific rate proportionate to the increase in temperature. The other type of analog thermometer is a dial thermometer. Dial thermometers have a spring made of two different metals, which will coil or uncoil at a predictable rate based on the temperature that it's exposed to. Now let's talk about digital thermometers. Digital thermometers were first invented back in 1954 when a flexible probe was created with a thermistor inside. Digital thermometers are faster than analog and give a more specific temperature reading. The one downside of digital thermometers is the need for external power source. There's four main types of digital thermometers. Thermocouple, tympanic, temporal, and non-contact thermometers. The first one we'll discuss is thermocouple thermometers. Thermocouple thermometers are the most common type as they're simple to use and easy to clean. Thermocouples use two different types of metal which are connected at one end. As the temperature changes, electrons move through the wires away from the hot end towards the cold, and since the wires are two different metals, there's an electron difference between the two ends of the wires, which will equal a voltage. This voltage, while very small, is a direct relation to the temperature at the joined ends of the thermocouple probe. Thermocouple-based patient thermometers are sensitive to placement within the mouth and inaccurate if the patient has been eating or drinking within a few minutes of the temperature reading. Remember, <laughs> red thermometer probes are for rectal and blue are for oral readings. I know a few people that have gotten that mixed up before. The next type of digital thermometer is the tympanic thermometer. This type of thermometer is inserted into the ear canal and reads the infrared radiation that's emitted by the tympanic membrane. The infrared energy hits a thin pyroelectric crystal which develops a charge based on the amount of infrared radiation received. The crystal is then discharged and it's measured against a table of values which is comparable to the temperature value. While tympanic thermometers are an aging technology, they're still in use at many medical facilities today. The major downside to tympanic thermometers are the fact that ear contaminants like wax can impede the amount of infrared received by the thermometer detector. Ear placement is vital and can be uncomfortable. Patients to be scanned with tympanic thermometers should have their ears checked for obstructions and the lens of the thermometer needs to be checked to make sure it's clean. Temporal thermometers are a more recent technology which reads the infrared emitted from the temporal artery by scanning across the forehead and behind the ear. Temporal scans are quick, accurate, and convenient for taking pediatric temperatures. Because temporal thermometers contact the skin and read infrared that's beneath the skin, they suffer less from ambient temperatures, yet they do involve cleaning between patients since they make direct contact. Also, temporal thermometers can get dirty fairly easy but are also very easy to clean with an alcohol wipe for the outside and a cotton swab with isopropyl alcohol for the lens on the inside. Most inaccurate temperature readings for temporal thermometers are due to a dirty lens. The last type of thermometer has increased in popularity due to temperature screening checkpoints at most buildings and venues over 2020 and 2021, the non-contact thermometer. Non-contact thermometers measure the infrared radiation emitted from the forehead or from the temple. These devices are quick, portable, extremely clean for scanning multiple people without cleaning the device between scans. The downsides of non-contact thermometers are that they read surface temperature and they're inaccurate depending on the ambient temperature and if the person that's being scanned was wearing headwear. The technology in all the above thermometers is found in a variety of medical devices and even in biomed test equipment. 
knowing how they work as well as their shortfalls will quickly allow you to resolve any discrepancies. Remember, if a thermometer is reported as inaccurate, check for signs of droppage. Any drops or signs of physical damage will immediately invalidate the device as it is a measuring device. Changing the thermocouple temperature probe, if it has one, ensure the device is clean and replace or recharge the battery before making any final decisions on the thermometer's serviceability. When in doubt, return the device to the OEM for proper testing and recalibration. Thanks for watching this video on thermometers. If you like these kind of videos, please leave me a like and consider subscribing to my channel so you'll be notified when I release more videos on medical technology. Thanks again for watching.